and running. Uh, cool Prince has begun okay. Lord Rialton, another team, are out fast with major action. Travelling forward out towards the centre here and coming over. They're all coming to the grandstand rail as Vanderhaar. Captain Clipper showing great speed and so has Name the Day. Behind those is Prince of Rebels. When they settle into stride, another team are in Lord Rialton near the outside, quickly being joined by major action. Heading them off from the outside, Name the Day and further back, Rocky's Pal. Captain Clipper just behind those from Prince of Rebels. Then Vanderhaar behind those, further back in the race then. Uh, came at the head of the others now is Cool Prince, who's dropped back with Tuscan Rule. They come down with about 450 metres to go. Another teamer with on the outside of it, Major Action. Cool Prince, Lord Rialton, the stable mates bumping behind with nowhere to go. Captain Clipper coming up the middle from Prince of Rebels. Then Tuscan Rule and Vanderhaar behind a wall of them. Across the track here, Rocky's Pal and Captain Clipper have got to the front. No run for Cool Prince and further back than Vanderhaar. It's Captain Clipper and Rocky's Pal. Rocky's Pal just in front of Captain Clipper having another dive. Rocky's Pal in front near the line. Rocky's Pal a neck on the line to Captain Clipper. Three away third in the race. Van der Haar from Tuscan Rule and Prince of Rebels. Further back Storm and Prince followed by Name the Day. Cool Prince no luck from Lord Rialton. Further back Major Action and near the tail another teamer. 7, 11 and 5 called by uh, Brian there in the opener. 11 horse field down the straight 1100 metres of the Flemington straight. They all went to the outside rail. Every one of them, and that's what will happen in any other down... OK, seven Rockies, pal. 5.50 for the win, and for the place, 2.20, number 11, Captain Clipper to pay 7.30 and 5, Vanderhaar, $2. Hi, Doug Walters here for City Index Sports, Canberra's leading bookmaker. City Index... racing. Pemberton jumped out sideways at the jump away. Didn't lose a great deal of ground. Jesterella boy happy giggle away fast. Zorro just behind those. And they're tracking out towards the middle and further over there is Preserve and also Keeper. Uh, Pemberton is quickly working up towards the uh, leaders when they settle down. A good charge for the front here. And it's happy giggle in the middle just in front of Pemberton. Uh, back nearer the inside now Jesterella boy. Back towards the centre Zorro Preserve given a crack with a whip and then Keeper. Happy giggle and Pemberton down at the 450 metre mark. Three quarters in front of Jesterella Boy. Pemberton going up to Happy Giggle. They're well off the outside fence. It's Happy Giggle and Pemberton. Two to preserve Keeper and dropping off Zorro. Then Jesterella Boy. Pemberton under pressure. Happy Giggle just in front of Pemberton down at the 200. Pemberton running about a bit and Happy Giggle switched to the outside. Came across Pemberton but Happy Giggle hard on the outside fence in front. Preserve picking up ground. Happy Giggle in front near the line and Happy Giggle getting tired. Gets home just on the post from Preserve who dived at it. Uh, third home Pembledon, further back in the race than Keeper, then Jesterella Boy and Zorro. And the winner number two, Happy Giggle, $9 and 3 10 3 Preserve, two twenty. No third for four Pembledon. Number two, Happy Giggle, nine twenty and three sixty three Preserve, $2.20, no third. Two, and that is Happy Giggle, written by Steve Baster. Number two, Preserve is second, number three, and third is number four, Pembledon, two, three and four. Two, three, four here at Flemington. Interesting race. Few of them were uh, just wobbling about a little and bringing up a bit of turf there. They're about four off the outside fence. Little happy giggle. Inferior in size to Pembledon. Got the upper hand. Came out in front of Pembledon, then crossed to the outside fence and wanted to lay out towards the outside rail. Just did inconvenience Pembledon, but then got clear. And then the Philly Preserve started to go out after it up the middle. It was finishing on fairly well, but happy giggle has won it about a neck over preserve and about a neck away third is Pembledon. It'll be interesting to have a look at the head on shot here because it has come out and made some contact with Pembledon who was under a fair grip uh, down at the 200 metre mark and um, it has shifted out to Happy Giggle and Pembledon clearly had to check. It was going better Pembledon down with about 150 to go and then Happy Giggle got the upper hand from it. He was throwing everything at Pembledon but then Happy Giggle just inside the 200 came across and he had to take hold of Cassidy and go back inside Happy Giggle. At the same time, Preserve was starting to get a bit of a kick on after being under pressure at about the 300 metre mark. But Happy Giggle was fairly soft from Bastard to the post to win it from here by about a half length over Preserve at about a half away third Pembledon. He went from travelling pretty easily to uh, right off the bridle and that touch probably didn't help it. 35.90, but I think the winners had a little bit in reserve and it'd be around a half length, a half length, first to a third.
And they're off on the first of the day. The favourite dwelt, Rose of the Desert, is back third last settling and Lady L is the early leader. Taken on by Whitefire and going quickly as Bangkok stop over, followed by the favourite Rose of the Desert going fast now. A gap to Tyson's bite and then she says Princess Marwina made of stone and two lengths to Siembra down past the 650. And here on the inside, Rose of the Desert going up very quickly, takes the lead. A half length or so, second posse as Bangkok stop over and in between them third. Actually, White Fire's three deep and Bangkok's stopover's in the middle. And then a gap to She Says, followed wider out by Lady L. Into the straight and up the rise they come and Rose of the Desert nursed along by Corey Brown. A link clear on Bangkok stopover. White Fire is starting to yield ground. And then Lady L, Princess Marwina, and on the inside, Made of Stone, Brown pulls the persuader now on Rose of the Desert. But the Desert Sun filly is pulling right away now. Made of Stone and Princess Marwina get to the line well. But an easy win to the face favourite Rose of the Desert. There's nothing between Princess Marwina and Maid of Stone for second and third. Then Bangkok stop over Lady L. She says followed by Tyson's Bite, Whitefire and Siembra. Certainly not her day today, Siembra. I don't think she was in the mood for racing and finished it tailed off last. Three Rose of the Desert, 170 and one dollar even. Number nine, Princess Marwina, 248, Maid of Stone, 290. The enclosure hasn't got very far to go either. Well, she's done a good job, that filly, Rose of the Desert, to win. She uh, was third last out of the gates. But uh, when Corey Brown really went for her at the 200, she responded well and has raced on to win comfortably and pay in New South Wales $1.90, $1.30. But uh, the issue for second and third will be the, the closest call here. Resting between numbers nine and eight, Princess Marwina and Maid of Stone. Number nine is second, Princess Marwina. She's paid $2, and number eight, Maid of Stone in third spot, has paid $3. The Quinella at $10.30, Exacta $13.40, and the Trifecta has paid $78.30. The winner, Rose of the Desert, is by Desert Sun, the sire, amongst others, of the champion Mare Sunline, and uh, this particular filly is out of Miss Snazzy. She's raced by the run for the Roses Syndicate. Managers are uh, Lee Fleming, F.B. Tag, J.M. Dwight, J. Harrington, C. Arv, Mrs. L. and uh, Mrs. P. Fleming, Mrs. L. Thompson, uh, G. Weidenhofer and A.G. Brock. Corey Brown aboard the winner, who scored officially by two and a quarter lengths. Half a hit between second and third. It was hand-timed the first at 58.6, 58.6. Uh, first 400, 23, 34. The last 600, 35, 26. Yeah, she was just too good for them, Rose of the Desert. And... They're off and running, and they came out in a good line with Danish Habit dropping out after the start. Uh, Nova Claus has left the gate OK today. Kim Angel, Rubatov out fast. Plata Aura going up on the outside to head them off, and Vesti nice and prominent. Further back with Sly Sandra when they settle down. Distant Beauty very deep around Jew Crazy, and Vale is out on a limb early. Further back is Hooker in the middle, followed in behind them by Light Work. Thursday's child, Danish Habit, Strictly Jazz. Well back in the race in the early point then came uh, Dame Kath, and last of all is our. Aaron. 1,400 metres to go and the leader Plata Aura moving up Distant Beauty from the wide gate up second. A length for the back Sly Sandra third, two to Vesti fourth. Three quarters the outside, you crazy fifth and they're running along in front. A length and a half then to Kim Angel running sixth and they're followed by Vale. Then Hooker back behind them, Rubatoff, Light Work. Rubatoff back on the inside of Thursday's Child and Light Work three out. A length for the back is Danish Habit with Nova Claus. Well back Strictly Jazz, two lengths for the back then Dame Kath and our Aaron last of all about 15 lengths from the front. A thousand to go. Plata or a half in front of Distant Beauty. A length and a half. Sly Sandra's had a good run and goes up out three deep. Two lengths further back. Vesti running fourth. Duke Crazy outside it. A length into Vale on the outside of Kim Angel back in the middle. A few of these are getting out wide now from Light Work. Further back Strictly Jazz. Back in the middle is Hooker followed by Rubatoff. Nova Claus. Our Aaron peeling out from Thursday's Child. Danish Habit. And last of all in the race is Dame Kath. He's taken off on Sly Sandra's. He did at Caulfield the other day and he went for home 
on the turn here. William shot away three lengths in front now from Distant Beauty. When they turn for home, four lengths further back due Crazy Kim Angel. Then came further back Vale, followed by Light Work. And now Aaron, the widest runner, down the outside. Sly Sandra, 300 to go, is out three lengths in front. Our Aaron and Nova Claus are coming down the middle, making up some ground. But Sly Sandra has got a good break three in front of our Aaron and Nova Claus. They're starting to close. And then Thursday's Child, Sly Sandra in front, getting tight. It's a length in front. Our Aaron from last won't get it. And Sly Sandra pinches this race in the turn, gets home. Wins a half length to our Aaron. Third home is Nova Claus. Dame Kath from last has run fourth. Then Kim Angel and further back Thursday's Child. A gap in the race, Strictly Jazz, followed by Distant Beauty Hooker. Light work, Danish Habit, a gap to you, crazy. A long gap, Vale. Plata Aura, followed by Rubatov. And Vesti has been pulled up shortly after going past the post. Three Sly Sandra, eight ten and two ninety, seven hour Aaron, two sixty and eight Nova Claus, two ten. Three Sly Sandra, seven twenty, two forty, number seven hour Aaron to return two dollars eighty and eight for third Nova Claus, two ten. Long way from home. And uh, you don't see it too often, but by gee, it's it's a daring tactic and it uh, did apply at Caulfield on Thousand Guineas Day here. Craig Williams got around the outside and this was Balding coming up to the turn. He had to let it go. And virtually a, a replica of what he did at Caulfield when the ground was soft there and he got going, although she's starting to get tired. Our Aaron coming from the back was starting to bridge the gap, but this has set up a winning break. 10 out of 10 there, Craig Williams showed a bit of initiative, chanced his arm and he's got home on it. Number three, Sly Sandra, ridden by C. Williams, makes it two in a row, likes the cut in the track. Although she was starting to get a little weary, our Aaron and Nova Claus were trying hard, but they just couldn't make up the leeway, and it's three, seven, and eight. Thanks, Brian. Race number one at Elwick there. There they go. And actually high rolling, easily bounced out in front. Smarty second, a quiver third, then Roden, followed by Beal Wynn. Cut above on the inside and close up a smash lob and dot com. Only about six or seven lengths between the eight as they gallop down past the 900. And high rolling a neck clear on Smarty, a length the Roden wide out. In the middle next is a quiver, followed by Beal Wynn. Closer to the inside, cut above, smash lob second last. A head back on the inside is dot com. This is the order with 650 metres to go. And high rolling shows the way Roden's worked a second wider out and between the leaders, Smarty. A couple to cut above and Beal winner. Then comes a quiver wider out. And Dot Com and Smice Love are the joint tail enders as they wheel for home. And high rolling straightens up about a length on Roden and Smarty. Cut above the inside, plenty of room for it. And then comes a quiver followed by Beal Win. And Dot Com's a minute away doing nothing. And Smice Love likewise. It's high rolling in front, nursed along by Hugh Bowman. About three quarters on cut above. Above. Nothing else can win but high rolling looking for his second race success. He's had uh, more strife than Speed Gordon in his career, but he's too good for them today. Well done, high rolling. Beating Cut Above and Smarty, followed by Roden Aquiver, and then Beal Win followed home on the outside by Smyslov and Dot Com. Finished Stone Marvelous last. Super Tab 1 High Rolling, 510, 190, 4 Cut Above, 180, and 6 Smarty, 270. And high rolling has led from barrier to box. Four to one on the tote in New South Wales. Well tried. Five dollars and two dollars. Number one high rolling. He's had tremendous uh, problems over his career. He's had travel sickness. He escaped one morning from his handler and he did a bit of a dipsy doodle. And uh, he'd only won the one race prior to today from nine starts. But hopefully all his bad luck's behind him now because he is a cult of uh, promise. And there was some talk around that had he not performed today, or well, maybe a little snip uh, would have been applied to this son of snippets. But I don't think that will be needed after his exhibition here this afternoon. One, four and six. Number one, high rolling. Hugh Bowman, five dollars and two dollars. Number four, second. And that's cut above. Brian York has paid two dollars. And number six, Smarty, written by Rod Quinn, third has paid three dollars. Number eight was fourth, Roden. The Quinella, 1460, exact at 2410, the trifecta 18380. The margins, it was a comfortable win, two lengths, two and a half second and the third. And the time 11019. 11019. The sectionals were 3531. And he zipped home his last 600 high rolling in 3488. He's by Snippets from Woman of Valor, a three-year-old chestnut cult trained by Gay Waterhouse, written by Hugh Bowman, and raced by Mrs. Valerie Smith and her daughter Gay Waterhouse, and Mr. S. Fisman, and Neil Gamble, and Alan Jones, and High Rolling, winning the International Taste of Summer Handicap in brilliant fashion. 
Yeah, good to see. Him. They're off and running. Ah, beautiful start to Fapiano Sun has gone out like a rocket today. And one of the first out here, Sterling Avenue from Cavenja quickly up on the outside of it. Two lengths further back in the early point. Now Ackerbilk with Fapiano Sun trying to get in from double trio back in the middle. And three lengths last of all, Dance with us. They went hard early. Sterling Avenue led nearly a length now to Cavenja who's up running second. Fapiano Sun goes up third. Ackerbilk is fourth. A half further back, double trio. And three to Sterling Avenue last of all. They're back the speed off in front. Sterling Avenue leads them now running to the 8.50 metre mark. About a neck in front of Cabenja second, two then to Fapiano's son. He's sitting out three deep on the outside of Ackerbilk. Back in the middle there is Double Trio and two last of all to dance with us. Sterling Avenue the leader at the 600 metre mark. Cabenja's gone up to grab him. Out wider is Fapiano's son and Double Trio just held up for a run. Followed by Ackerbilk when they turn for home. Sterling Avenue, Cabenja and Fapiano's son down the middle from Ackerbilk and Double Trio further back in the race under a bit of pressure, Dance with us across the track here. Cabenja and Fapiano's son have got to the front out in the middle. Fapiano's son and Cabenja from Ackerbilk drifting back to the inside, then double trio. It's Cabenja and Fapiano's son coming at him again. Cabenja drew a half in front of Fapiano's son, followed by Ackerbilk, and then Dance with us. Cabenja in front. He's drawing clear of Ackerbilk and running on Dance with us, but Cabenja's too good. Scores three quarters Ackerbilk. I think Dance with us grabbed third from Fapiano's son. A long gap in the race, double trio. And last of all, Sterling Avenue. Three Cabenja, two ten, one seventy. One Acker Bilk, three dollars. Six Dance with us, no third. Number three Cabenja, two sixty, one seventy. One Acker Bilk to pay two dollars eighty and six Dance with us, no third dividend. More from Melbourne soon after race number four on the program there today. Brisbane, the first six seven four six was the winner. Love to honour two thirty one twenty seven. Mighty cool two ten and four was third. Miss Lucy and one eighty. Quinella eight twenty. Trifecta sixty one ten all started. Three one two. Cabenza in the middle, taking the lead from Fabiano. Son Ackerbilk back to the inside. Dance would have starting to pick up some ground, but he uh, he got to the front. Cabenza and was safely holding uh, Fabiano. Son outside him. Uh, back on the inside uh, was Ackerbilk. they're off. Brief promise, a little slowly into stride, and as they settle down, a good battle for the early lead. Sandrunner, Palami, and Bolas going forward with Charm Girl. Cajun Lass is trying to get across from the wide alley. Getting back a little Emma from the inside gate, and a length further back in the field is Bossy. And then comes Brief Promise, followed closely by Del Quarren, Simone second last, and Melodrama drops out to last as they complete 450. And Bolas is the leader now from Cajun Lass. Third on the inside, Palami, and fourth is Sandrunner. Emma next on the inside of Charm Girl and then comes Brief Promise. Bossy's in the middle and Del Quarren forced to race a little bit wide and the last pair of Melodrama and Simone. Racing onto the side and going to the crossing at the 850 and Bolas under restraint. Three quarters to a length clear on Cajun Lass. Two lengths away third is Palami followed at her quarters the outside by Sandrunner. Emma's on the inside of Charm Girl then Bossy. Brief Promise followed by Del Quarren. Two lengths further back is Melodrama and a half length to Simone. No change. 600 metres left to run and Bolas the leader from Cajun Lass and Runner on the inside Palami two lengths to Emma ridden along followed by Charm Girl Brief Promise on the inner followed forward by Melodrama Bossy Del Quarren second last and about 10 off the lead and Simone's last in the straight 300 to go and Bolas the leader on the outside Sand Runners making a lunge at Bolas between them Cajun Lass Palami squeezing up on the inside and then Brief Promise into the clear and so too Melodrama the leader is Sand Runner with about 50 metres to go. Melodrama coming home well with Brief Promise, but Sand Runner will hang on. Sand Runner narrowly from Melodrama and Brief Promise, then Bo Lass Emma. Cajun Lass Simone followed by Palami, Charm Girl Bossy, and the favourites run last, Del Quarren. Okay, number eight, Sand Runner to return 33.90 and 4.50. Nine, Melodrama, 4.10. Four, Brief Promise, 2.10. We'll be coming up in a moment. With number eight showing at twenty-four dollars twenty for the win and four sixty for the place. Sand runner. Number nine melodrama was returning four dollars seventy. And we're standing by on the third, which will be number four, brief promise. And it'll pay two dollars. Those numbers are official. Eight, nine, and four. 
Sand Runner, trained by Kevin Robbins, and at Berry, written by Craig Carmody, by At Talak, a Melbourne Cup winner from Merry Model. A Bay Mare 5 Sand Runner, raced by the J.A. Isaac Property Group, Proprietary Limited, syndicate managed by J.A. Isaac, and scored in 137.06. 137.06 and won by a head, half a neck. The other margin, a head, a half a neck. The uh, sectionals, the first 800 took 50.9 and the last 635.22. Melodrama battled on pretty well. She's by Forest Glow from Miss Melba. A Bay Mare 4, Billy Mitchell, Corey Brown. And number four, Brief Promise is by Brief Truce from Best Promise, a four-year-old chestnut mare, John Size, Lynn Beasley. Well, they went slowly early. Dal Quarren was caught wide. They sprinted home reasonably well, 35.22, but by the same token, gee, you'd think that Dal Quarren was entitled to do a little better than she did. Another one, SML, Stone Motherless Last, Del Quarren. Still, she is a mare, and this time... Way ...nearer the inside, bounced away quickly. Uh, beaten out by Valley Warrior, who's showing great speed. Hockney going forward with St Clements Bell. They're heading towards the outside with Happy Forest just behind those. Then our star of gold and Delirious has got back to last. Coming along with about 750 metres to go. Hockney on the outside fence or just off a just led Valley Warrior. A length and a half Happy Forest and Clements Bell is behind those. Further in then the Shiner followed by our star of gold Mighty Way. Delirious just held up behind them a national asset last of all. Coming down with about 450 metres to go. Hockney and Valley Warrior. A length and Clements Bell behind them followed by Happy Forest. Forest. Further back, the Shiner followed by Mighty Way up the middle. Delirious starting to weave its way through, and they've got away from our Star of Gold. Valley Warrior St. Clements Bell have gone up to Hockney. It's Valley Warrior being tackled by St. Clements Bell. St. Clements Bell has taken the lead from Valley Warrior. Delirious finishing on with Mighty Way, but the Mayor St. Clements Bell got clear. Yes, you'll get home. St. Clements Bell holding Delirious in the run to the line, and St. Clements Bell wins three quarters. Delirious ahead third, Mighty Way. A gap happy Forest Valley Warrior, then Hockney. A good gap our star of gold, the Shiner, national asset last of all. For St Clements Bell, 6-10, 2 10, 5 Delirious, 170, 3 Mighty Way, 160. For St Clements Bell to pay 570 and 190, 5 Delirious, 170 and 3 Mighty Way, 160. And through and took the lead from Hockney with Delirious and Mighty Way nearer the centre of the track coming out after it, but it's been a good winner here, St Clements Bell, number four. First up, and she's won by just on a length from number five, Delirious, who has ridden back, finished off well. And Mighty Way, number three, is officially third in 15.4. Numbers there, four, five, and three. St. Clements Bell followed Hockney, who was up inside Valley Warrior. Switched off their heels about four off the outside fence, and she picked up this chestnut mare at the 200. She really started to lift. Beat off Hockney and Valley Warrior. Back to the middle were Delirious and Mighty Way. Locked together, coming out after. But she was too strong. In fact, she was very strong right to the post to win it just over a length. Over Delirious and about a head away third in the race is Mighty Way. 4-5-3 and a dead heat for fourth. Those numbers for fourth about to come up. 4-5-3 and three after race five. the button and there they go Pimpala Renegade a roughy missed the start about three quarters of a length and Cedar Rapids got the best of it Space Prince jumped out pretty well and the same four in Vastature are not far away but very deep from that wide gate Sir Anthony then highest caliber Sea Fighter followed on the fence by Smart Attack making a little ground and then a gap to Calamba further still Dapple second last and Absolute as Pimpala Renegade past the 950 they travel and Cedar Rapids shows the way three quarters Space Prince in Vastature third off the track a little Sir Anthony in fourth spot, joined on the inside by Smart Attack, and then Sea Fighter, highest calibre racing wide over on the inside. Next is Calamba, the rider in the all bronze. Then further still, Dapples, and last of all is Pimpala Renegade. 6.50 left to go. No change. And Cedar Rapids making play from Space Prince, Smart Attack, and Investiture. Sir Anthony wide from the word go, and then Sea Fighter followed by highest calibre. The well tried Calamba locked away, and then further still, Dapples to the extreme outside. And last of all is Pimpala Renegade. 
Renegade around the corner, Cedar Rapids the leader. Space Prince sitting a length away second, Smart Attack trying to sneak up on the inside. Calamba meeting a dead end, now he has to ease and pull him to the outside. In the meantime, Cedar Rapids got a length clear. Smart Attack had to go to the outside, then Calamba followed by Dapples. The leader is still Cedar Rapids, Smart Attack, and now Calamba flying. It'll be too late, Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids hung on to beat Smart Attack and the unlucky Calamba. Both second and third were stiff, I reckon. Then Dapples, Pimpala, Renegade, Space Prince, Sea Fighter, Highest Calibre, and the last couple in were further still and Investiture. Cedar Rapids has scored, but oh, here's Sir Anthony. He tailed off here. Here he is coming down. Uh, oh, gee, it'd be 400 metres, nearly 300 metres from the second last horse. Now let's... Eight Cedar Rapids to pay 18.95 even. Ten Smart Attack, 5.50 and seven Calamba, 1.70. The uh, tight favourite in New South Wales, Sir Anthony, has bled. That's bad luck. OK. Cedar Rapids. Jumped beautifully. Winning double to Craig Carmody. They could have been hard luck tails from the riders of uh, both uh, horses going over for second and a third. 188 treble in Sydney to return $1,451. Smart attack and most certainly Calamba number seven. 8107 official. The winner has paid $16.20 and $4.60, $5.70 for second, $1.80 for third. The Quinella $188.90, Exacta $271.30, the Trifecta $2,367.90. Now the Superfecta numbers are 8, 10, 7, 4, 3 and 14. 8, 10, 7, 4, 3 and 14. The winner, Cedar Rapids, is trained by Noel Lamy at Rose Hill, and Noel puts the polish on him for himself, his wife. G.H. Eckler and K.L. Cheatham is by Integra from Revisit, a six-year-old chestnut gilding. He's only had the 17 starts. Noel's done a fantastic job with this horse. He's had bad legs, and uh, I think there's, he's had quite a few problems, so he's really been a great credit to his trainer, and uh, Craig Carmody seen to advantage in the saddle in an all-the-way win in the time of uh, 1.23.36. 123.36, the breakdown, the first 636.67, the last 600 took 35.79, and the margins were a long head by a short half head, long head, short half head, and uh, the superfecta, not one, superfecta, not one. Well... Racing, off in a good line too, down near the inside, Caniana, one of the first to break out here. Away fast, Black Bean and travelling forward around the outside, Northern Drake and with it, go Flash Go, go Flash Go, quickly heading up to the front, settling from Babette Black Bean, further back Northern Drake, followed by Lee Zagaletta and then Umrum, Caniana, Desert's Dream, Nawas just off midfield, now Nina Araka, two further back, Bonanova, Vetti Via, further back is Rebel, they're followed by Strider, the inside pursuits and Ale Suez last of all. The leader go, Flash Go, coming down the side of the 11.50 metre mark, nearly a length Babetto, a length further back, North than Drake with his mouth open and getting his head up running third. Black Bean is fourth as they drop the speed now from Lee Zagaletta going up fifth. Then Umrum out three wide running six. Two lengths for the back. Caniana. Desert's Dream outside it. One and a half. Nina Araka. A length for the back. Bonanova. Venevere to the outside. Nearer the inside. Noas here. Two for the back pursuits followed by Strider in company with Rebel and Ale Suez is last of all. 7.50 metres to go before the turn. They leave the rail now and Northern Drake goes up to Babetto. Go Flash Go the inside. The white cap. Black Bean behind Behind those, the grey behind those, Lee Zagaletta further out on the track, Umrum, Dazza's Dream and Bonanova into the clear, followed by Caniana and then Nina Araka there across the track. In the straight they race at the 350 metre mark, Northern Drake, Babetto, Umrum and down the outside, Bonanova starting to wind up with Dazza's Dream, Caniana getting a run through, followed further back by Nina Araka and Vetti Via, Umrum and Bonanova, Umrum the inside, Bonanova going out after it, they're fighting it out, it's Umrum and Bonanova, Bonanova going after